Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're going to do a quick video going over bid mass for the order of operations. So all about the order in which we do things in a sum. Um, some people might know this as bod mass, particularly those who haven't yet learnt indices or exponents. Some people then learn this as bed mass because they talk about exponents for the powers or in this case we're going to call them indices. So anything that's exponents or powers um, we mean the same thing. Some people even uh, call it PEMDAS, I've heard, with a P for parentheses, but they all mean the order in which you do things, brackets first, then indices, then divisional multiplication, then addition or subtraction. I'm going to put the OR there. And in fact, I like to uh, write it as that, because division and multiplication and addition and subtraction have the same kind of uh, importance in the order. It's always brackets first, then indices, then one of those two, and then one of those two. But we'll get to that in a second. So what do I mean by the, the brackets? Well, if I have the sum 3 plus 2 times 5, we would do the multiplication first. But if there were brackets there, we'd do what's inside the bracket. So 3 plus 2 is 5, and then times that by 5. If we, weren't, if we didn't have the brackets there, then we'd go through the next um, order of importance, which would have been multiplication. And then indices here, um, it's 2 plus 5 squared. I don't add first, so I don't get 7 squared. I square the 5, and then I add the 2. So I'm going to get 5 squared, which is 25, and add the 2. Then I get to division. Um, 4 minus 6 divided by 12. So I'm going to do that division first. So 6 divided by 12 is 6 over 12. In fact, that's why they have that symbol like that, almost like a fraction which is a half, and then 4 minus a half is 3 and a half. And then multiplication, so here I have 8 plus 3 times 2, so I don't add the 8 and the 3, I would have needed brackets to do that. I just do 8 plus 3 times 2, which is 8 plus 6, so I get 14. And then what I was talking about earlier, division or multiplication, if they both happen at the same time, I just do left to right. So I don't worry about an order between the two of them. They have the same kind of importance. So I don't multiply first and then divide. I just do it in the order of 2 divided by 4, which is a half, and that times by 3, which will give me 1.5. Okay, so that's again why I'd like to actually write it non-linearly. Um, brackets, indices, division multiplication, then addition or subtraction. And the same goes for uh, this last one here. Um, I put both of them into this one sum because they don't have a more important order. I don't go and do all the addition and then subtraction. Um, I just read left to right. So for both of this one, left to right, and this one left to right. 5 plus 7, which is 12, minus 2, which is 10, plus 3, I get 13. So there we go. That's just a quick demonstration of the order of operations, brackets, indices, division or multiplication, addition or subtraction. Thanks for watching. There are a couple of other videos on the channel uh, going over this topic as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.